y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Hannah and today I'm going to take you on a tour of my single wide mobile home um, starting off we're going to uh, start here in the master bedroom and um, over here we've got our computer set up where we sit and edit all of our YouTube videos that go up and the desk is not um, stained yet because we're waiting till we move to stain that so it can match everything else and then up here we've got our TV mounted on the wall and then got our at work switch and Roku box in this corner we've got all my husband's gun stuff dresser and the bed this door goes to the bathroom. I'm not going to show you that because it don't look too good. And then that door goes to the closet and it's messy. So you're not going to get to see that either. Okay, okay now we're going to move on to the laundry room. Um, here's the laundry room. A very tight little space. This is the only place I can store my cleaning supplies and all that so washer and dryer um, put up these new cabinets um, new flooring and um, we have tile over here in case something goes wrong with the washer and it leaks water or something and um, hardwood and our laundry sorting baskets um, got our calendar right here so we can write down when all of our bills are due and if we have any activities or whatever we have to do. Over here, got trash can and just a little bin I picked up from a tractor supply um, a couple years ago. I've got our onions and potatoes sitting in it. That's about the only place I have to put it. And then we've got a little coat rack up here with a few things hanging from it got our back door and then over here is our um, air conditioner unit inside part okay um, now we're going to move on to the kitchen and here we have changed the cabinets all of them because the ones that were in here before were literally falling apart. Um, got the fridge here. This is our pantry. Got all the food there. And then the bottom part did have a bunch of my dishes and pots and pans, but I took those out so I could have a dishwasher and it's gotta be trimmed up. We haven't done that yet. And also, there's only baseboards in the bathrooms and the laundry room. Uh, everywhere else does not have baseboards because, well, we haven't got to it yet and we plan on moving. So we are undecided whether we want to spend the money and put them up or just wait and let whoever moves in next go ahead and do it themselves. Because all the walls have got to be repainted and all that. So. We'll probably just let the new movers do all that. Um, got new sink. Um, I really wanted a new sink because the ones that come with trailers, if you live in one, then you know they're pretty tiny. And I really wanted a farmhouse sink. So I got me one of those. And we got new countertop because the one we had before was coming off the counter or the cabinets. Um, I only keep our things that we use pretty daily on the countertops. This is the only thing that sits up here that I don't use every day. Got the microwave uh, mounted on the wall. Um, and then all the windows do have um, new regular like house windows in them. I'll show you real quick.
most of them have been trimmed up. There is a couple that are not, um, that don't have the trim around them, but um, in the main living areas, they all do have trim. Um, table, and then we're gonna move on to the living room now. All right, um, now right here beside the kitchen is the living room. And over here, we've got the couch, um, recliner. And uh, if you're wondering about the blue wire that is above, or at the ceiling, that is for the internet. It's hooked up to some of our devices that um, use Wi-Fi and things. And then it also runs to this little white box that's up here on the ceiling in the hallway. It's a access point, and that's so it can just help um, the internet reach all the way back to the other end of the house. But um, here's one of the dog's cages. The reason why the wire is up there and not like hidden inside the wall is because we're going to take that with all that with us when we move and we didn't feel like we know we're moving so we don't want to have to tear down the wall or anything like that to get the wire inside to hide it so we're just going to deal with it being up there and honestly i don't think anybody really pays attention to it but over there we've got the tv mounted surround sound that we just recently put up um, PlayStation, record player, and dog cage, and a bookshelf. Bookshelf with all of our uh, Bibles and um, cookbook and things like that on there. And now we're going to move on over here to the hallway. As you're walking to the hallway, here's the front door. So when you come in the front door, you walk right into the living room. And then um, this door does go to the girls' room. hallway we've got a few things hung on the wall some pictures of the kids and us and um, all the lights have all new um, light fixtures um, throughout the whole entire house this door leads to the kids bathroom this is like a little just a little linen storage closet thing. This room has um, new flooring, just like the rest of the house has all new flooring. We've got new vanity and sink because the one that we had was also pretty much falling apart. Um, new um, little medicine cabinet. And then new bathtub and as you can see this room does have the baseboards in it and we got a few things hung up on the wall let's move on to the next room this is the last room in the house let me turn this this is our son Weston's room, and he's got no baseboards, new flooring, and he's got his little table set up over here that he can do different things like color or some schoolwork, whatever. He's got a few decor pieces on the wall, 
he's got one of the dog cages in here also because he really enjoys having at least one of the dogs in here with him at night since he is I guess a little bit farther away from everybody else um got his dresser over here closet TV mounted on the wall he's got two closets and his windows he has um, two windows and as you can see they aren't trimmed but they do have new windows in those bed, nightstand, and he's got a little chalkboard over here behind the door that he can draw on. Okay, so that's the tour of our single wide mobile home. Uh, the only room I did not show to you, or the only two rooms I didn't show to you all was the bathroom and the master bedroom and then the closet in the master bedroom. And I showed you the girls' room, but I did not actually go in there and explain things because it's such a tiny room. But um, the only thing that was done in there was new flooring, and it still has to be repainted. Um, they've got their bunk beds in there, and a little storage um, cube organizer for their toys, and clothes, dresser, normal stuff. Alright, that's the end of this video, so I hope you enjoyed it, and if you do, please like and subscribe.